Welcome back to Veradata.js. In this video, we're going to look at a particular function which might come in handy in some situations. Have you ever tried to validate a URL? Then you probably know how hard it is to cover all the possibilities. Well, if you use Veradata.js, you will find that the problem can be easily solved by simply using isURL. It checks if the string is a URL, and not just that, it comes with a variety of options. Let's have a look at some of them. By using the options protocols, you can restrict the validity to certain protocols. You can define more than one at a time. Now, you don't have to write a different regex for all of them. Just specify it with protocol and it will take care of the rest. As you can see, the URL is now validated with FTP. Another cool feature that might interest you is banning the URLs. You can do that with host underscore blacklist. As its name indicates, it blocks the specified URLs. So let's add two banned URLs and compare it with the input. And of course, there is its opposite function, host underscore whitelist, which only lets pass the allowed URLs. Here, we will put a URL which only allows the input to pass if they are equal. We just saw how to validate URLs with isURL. You can check out another cool validator.js method in this exercise which allows you to validate UUIDs. I'll see you next time.